School for Success family, this is Steven here. Thank you for tuning in on YouTube. I want to talk to you guys about the difference between acquiring a language and learning it. A lot of people want to learn it, which is what I understand. It's very technical, it's very difficult, and it's very long to do it. What I want to talk about is the difference between acquiring and learning it. Basically, when you acquire a language, it's very similar to when you start speaking as a baby or a toddler because when you learn your mother tongue it's not like your parents start giving you grammar books as a kid or as an adolescent for you to speak to your family right basically if you come from an English background you grew up with English so you basically memorized that you were immersed in it you acquired it you didn't just wake up every day and have your parents give you a uh, hundred verbs or nouns to learn and then you went to school you basically became fluent in it, you had an idea of your surrounding, you know the words to most things, so you focus on the fluency part, then you go into the grammar and learn the words and think vocabulary that will kickstart and progress with your language learning. And that's why I always recommend my clients and my followers to rather think of language learning as a journey to acquire the language in your lifestyle, immerse yourself in it, rather than learn it, because when you're gonna learn, you're going from the most difficult aspect of it to more easy and more, uh, you know, fa you kind of fast forward to something that you should be doing in the beginning. So when you start a language from scratch, you'll want to be listening and reading it more than you want to be studying and memorizing concepts and words. Because when you hear it, it implements in your head. And then once you start seeing more common words, and the repetitiveness of the words and the sentence structure, that's when you're totally immersed and you're totally acquiring the language as opposed to just studying it. You're not gonna study 100 verbs and consider yourself fluent. That's why many classrooms today in America and Canada and other English countries fail at teaching students and you know inspiring students to continue studying languages because they'll teach you in English while you're trying to learn Spanish. They should be talking to you 90% in Spanish and only 10% in English, just to uh, you know, clarify certain things. So you should totally be studying the language and the language you are wanna study in. That's why I always recommend my students and my followers once again to con consistently immerse yourself, create days or moments of your work week where you continuously just focus on the target language you understand amazing guys perfect so i'm here with roberto martinez he's a chilean entrepreneur basketball player travel around the world play basketball currently lives in miami florida he's one of my very first students he saw my company start from zero and we're here zero. today exactly we're drinking an amazing wine tomorrow's roberto's birthday Exactly. And Roberto, uh, well, thank you so much for being on my show, Fluent for Success Secure, with Steven. Uh, please tell my friends here on YouTube, why did you decide to come to Miami? And what made you want to work with Fluent for Success? And why is it important for you to know English? Uh, Let's start off with what the first question, guys. Tell me about yourself, Roberto. Why do you want to learn English? It's because when I came here for the first time to the United States, I was with zero English, like I was talking with nobody, no English person, yeah, like just Latin people. But at the same time, I was thinking and how important it is to get another language, especially English, because this is a English country. So there is when I meet Steven, and Steven starts to teach me some steps or give me some advice to how I can get better English. And right now, I think uh, I can have a conversation with everyone in this country. I can get, I can do networking, I can talk with American players. So my, my personal life start growing and I can get better connection and jobs, networking like I say and meet uh, and other people who just talking in English. So this means how important is to get English or another language in your life. 
That's amazing, Roberto. Well, thanks for answering that question. I understand apart from being a superstar basketball player, streetball player, representing Chile, exactly. uh, focusing more on Latin America, you're, you, at age 30 you decide to come to America and you need English, you don't have English, so exactly. that's when you come to me at Fluent for Success, you made an investment in yourself to learn you know, and live English. You understand what I just spoke to the people that you weren't studying the grammar, you were living it, you were acquiring it, so you were listening every day. You were around Americans and other non-Spanish speakers and you tried to limit yourself on the amount of Latinos you would hang out with just to improve. You even had a girlfriend at the time where she wasn't speaking any Spanish, Exactly. where you spoke to her in just English. So you had to force yourself to immerse yourself, to continue to learn words that would benefit your relationship. And I know you travel right now in the US, you play basketball. Uh, do, what else do you do that you you know you need the in, the English language as a second language, where it helps you succeed in life and where other people need needed my coaching. So tell me about what other aspects of your life do you use English other than your business and your you know personal life. Uh, about my personal life, I feel like proud of myself, you know, because I'm start to learn another language like Portuguese with you. So this makes me feel very proud of myself and I get more, more motivation for to be a successful person, you know? Yeah. I think it's uh, really important to know more than two or three languages in your life. I mean, you, you, you can't stop to learn the over and over and over languages, which is good, you know, because like I say, uh, help for you networking and help for you business or for you whatever what you want to do learn language is like always is like a good thing in your life that's exactly it so as a 30 year old a lot of people are scared to start language learning because they think they really need to dissect it they, they need to learn it but when I recommended Roberto to think of English as something like Spanish where he was a baby and his parents taught him how to speak Spanish with a Chilean accent and with Chilean words, think of that as you know the language ex learning experience with English has the same concept. Where Roberto is going to live in America, where Roberto is going to deal with Americans, he's going to try to be as much into the language like he would have been a baby, right? So that's why I really coached Roberto to get to where he is today, help him out, give him steps and guidance and hacks. We're doing a program where where we started English, Roberto got to a point in his life where he can take off. He learned all my steps. He's done a six week program with Fluent for Success. Now he's working on the English grammar and improving his English as well as his pronunciation. Roberto's gonna get more into Portuguese in the upcoming future because I'd love to him to exactly. acquire the language. He already speaks Spanish and in other videos, I'll get to why you should learn another language as similar to one of the languages you're native in, because you already have a base. As a Spanish native speaker, Roberto already understands a big portion of what the Portuguese language has to offer. So make it that much easier for you to separate the differences exactly. and withheld the similarities. Phone for Success family, thank you so much. I hope you understand that acquiring a language is much more important than learning a language. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, DM me, send me a comment, like this page, share it with your friends, and I promise you're gonna get a lot more value. Have an amazing day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Roberto. Thank you for everything.